Hello, lovelies. Yarny peeps, non-yarny peepers. How are you? We're back in my bedroom. Um, it is a little warmer downstairs. I cannot do that coal stove for years. And if the camera starts moving, that's lovely Freya. Actually, let's do an intro. I know you've seen her before, but isn't her coloring friggin' gorgeous? Look in the camera, Freya. Who's that? That's all the people out there. She's adorable. She's feisty. She's lovable. Um, she is purring like crazy right now and she oh and sneezing do you have a cold she doesn't go out should we keep her inside there's only one cat that we uh, that we have that we allow outside that's Oscar de Wilde um, he's huge full of, wow what's some, what are you sneezing are you allergic to me maybe she's allergic to me I'm allergic to her so that would only be fair that she'd be allergic to me anyway can you go and find something to play with besides a tripod that would be nice. Say bye. Bye. And she likes to bite too. There you go, sweetie. Go, go find a toy. Anyway, so um, that was the Freya photo bomb, and she's going to be moving the tripod. So just deal with that. Um, I did a tutorial. I'm hoping that, well, an unconventional tutorial, hoping that I get that up before I do this because I want to show you it's not necessarily the finished product yet, but it's the product still in works. Freya, we love you. Bye. And I'm doing a series of horny hats. Yes, you heard me correctly. Horny hats. And they're for blank heads. Okay. Um, we're starting uh, a line uh, once we get going. And since I'm Mama G, um, thank you to um, Eero Cosmic for coming up with it. It's going to be called the G Spot. And in that section, uh, perhaps on our website, if we ever get that <laughs> upload created, uh, on that, that section of the website, it will be 18 and older stuff. And this would be a part of it because the description of it and what it's called. I'm not sure if I'm totally digging the I and the X. May pull that off and just completely eliminate it or may find something else to do with it. But there's layers of swirlies love doing these little Shirley Temple things. They're so adorable. But anyway, so that is the horny hat. One of the horny hats. Amanda, Rusty had, did it again. Rusty has one. And now Freya's going to rub all over the hat, I'm sure. Um, and in, I, these are my colors. So I'm in the process of doing one where I'm alternating light green, dark green with the purple band. And I've already made the purple horn. I've already made the purple horn for it. So that'll go on here. And there's curlies, little Shirley Temple curlies that I made also ahead of the game here. And I'll just attach those long and shorts and whatnot. Um, the colors, the yarns I'm using are the same that I did with the other hat. It's just really Red Heart Super Saver for weight. It's uh, patty green, which is very appropriate for when I'm doing this because it's almost St. Patrick's Day, well, a month in. And Mainstay, Mainstay's basic yarn. Um, those are the two colors that I'm doing the, the cap part of this. Apologize for my appearance, but you, you're used to seeing me scaring small school kids, because that's what I like to do. All right, throwing those on the floor. Let's see, we're three minutes in. Oh, and this hat I just did. I just, I literally just finished this. I was watching Carrie's Live, that's why I wasn't typing too much on there because I was finishing this and it's one of those scrunchy for the ponytail I probably should brush my ponytail first but eh, whatever um, debating on whether I should I do the unboxing now or should I make another video of that because I'm going on a yarn diet again because I need to and um, I have some Lion Brand Aberdeen and I think Premier yarn boxes that I've got. They've been sitting and because I'm just letting them linger because this is going to be the last unboxings I'm going to have in a while. Though I have one other thing coming from I think Knit, knit Picks. But that's because they offered me a, a free button for my birthday. Yes, it is my birthday month as it is several of you um, I've noticed and I will be uh, 40 years old. Yeah on the 20th of February. So we're going to do a giveaway for that too. And plus Rusty is offering an awesome um, 
mystery box bag and you picked it. She's got a couple price points. I think she's going to do like $25, $40, $60. And depending on what price point you pick, um, that's that'll be the amount of something more than worth in that of stuff in there. And I'll mysteriously throw some yarn in there, just saying. So if yeah, th that I think that's fun. She she decided this all on her own and she's kind of doing it. I mean, I'll, I'll help by throwing some stuff in there, but it, it's on her website and I believe it's Rusty Blades email at gmail.com. I'm not 100% sure what her email is for that but yeah if you it's, it'll be fun you you if you watch our show or this whatever you call this you'll know that um it'll be interesting and and she would like to ask some not personal questions but just a few questions just to kind of find out like where you're at like what kind of person you are you know and we'll discuss that maybe later today when i see her um and do a video about the boxes but i just wanted to throw that out there for you because that that could be fun something different you know and um yeah and it might be a little scary because you like like froggy says you might get a yarn pickle <laughs> which i doubt very highly that she would part with any of her yarn pickles because they're legitimately real pickles that are in jars in her yard and if you haven't seen those things you can go back in our playlist and it's in the hanging in the hanger playlist where we go in the summer and hang out and just shoot the shoot the stuff um and shenanigans true shenanigans we dress up and do all kinds of stuff and in there is her t uh, 10 things about her or something it was a, a hashtag that um i had been tagged in and i tagged her and she talks about her yarn i believe she does show her yarn pickles in a couple of videos so yeah those are those are just creepy and i think since i'm seven minutes in on this i'm gonna leave it at that and do another video with opening the yarns um just dragging it out baby dragging it out it's about a foot of snow outside here right now not a problem because i don't have a car good news is i hopefully will be getting a car soon because i want to get my behind down to connecticut which is about six hours drive to see my beautiful son that I haven't seen in a while, and I miss him deeply, um, and my sister, my lovely sister, Laura, and my niece and nephew, uh, Alyssa and Trevor, and my brother-in-law, Paul. So I like to visit them, and maybe, maybe uh, depending on the weather, maybe see some of my friends, because I'm from Connecticut originally, so uh, most of my life, before Cal whatever I mostly lived in Cal Connecticut so I have a lot of friends there so it'd be nice to see some of them as them as well anyway may redo this whole video because I didn't know what I was going to be doing maybe not I don't know because I'm so quirky anyway love you guys be well be safe be happy stay warm and 